Counting down to first pitch tonight at Miller Park. The Astros and the Brewers, next on the show. Just a short drive west of downtown, we're at Miller Park in Milwaukee. Ought to be a good one here between the American League's Houston Astros and the Milwaukee Brewers. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian welcoming you to another edition of Baseball on the Show. I'll be joined in just a minute by Eric Karros and Steve Lyons. But first, let's take a look at the starting lineup for the visiting Houston Astros. As manager Bo Porter reminds his guys like this. They'll match up against an ace and a workhorse all wrapped into one. The all-star right-hander, Giovanni Gallardo. And there you see a look at the defensive alignment behind him for the Brewers. Jose Altuve to move towards the batter's boxes. We're just about set to get underway tonight. And the first pitch of the ball game here is taken for a cold strike one. Yeah, you know, first time through, he likes to start guys off with a fastball. And it's a good one, too. You know, he'll run it up there in the mid 90s. First pitch, 706. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. Very mild temperatures as we begin tonight. 58 degrees here at first pitch. Out of play off to the right. It's one and one. Here's one in the air now for Braun out in left. And he puts it away for the first down. So Gallardo able to set down the leadoff man. And with that, let's look at how the Brewers align defensively. It's brought to us by Majestic. If it happens in baseball, it happens in Majestic. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring in the shortstop, Jed Lowry. Ball one. The pitch. And a good heater as he just watches this baby, a ball and a strike. Bases are empty, one man out. And this is fouled back and out of play. The 1-2 coming from Gallardo. 
And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at 2-2. Two and two. Swing and a miss, and Lowry's a strikeout victim here, two away. Justin Maxwell will step in now. First pitch here is popped a mile high into the air. This is way up there, but playable on the infield. And Lucroy able to squeeze this one, and the inning is over. So a great half inning of work by Giovanni Gallardo. Now it's the Brew Crew. Starting lineup for the Brewers looks like this. They'll square off against the former Mustang from San Marin High School in Novato, California, right-hander Bud Norris. And behind him, here's how the Astros will line it up on defense. Here now is Nori Aoki to start things out in the home half of inning number one. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. hit ball back up the middle and a dive there by Lowry but he can't get it it's a base hit well things are looking up for these guys to start the ball again to get a one two three top half then now leadoff single here in the home half off to a great start Ricky Weeks will take his cuts now. Swung on and missed, it's 0-1. Yeah, kind of a late decision to swing there. Even if he hits that thing, that might just be a routine fly to right. From the belt, kicks and deals. And this is lifted high in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Now a changeup locks him up as he looks at strike three called. One away. More often than not, when you're going to throw that changeup 0-2, you don't even want it to be in the strike zone. What you're really hoping for is to get a guy to go fishing for something that's not even in the zone. But you're going to see here, this one's right on the corner, and he can't do a thing with it. Ryan Braun will stand in now. Silver Slugger recipient for National League outfielders a year ago. Now a ground ball for Altuve. This might be two. Lowry on to Pena. A double play, and that retires the side. 
Brewers come up empty in the first. We played an inning in Milwaukee. No score on the show. Carlos Pena leads things off now in the top half of the second. And he'll start the inning with a pitch that misses off the plate. It's ball one. And the shift will not amount to much here as this is lifted in the air out to right field. Aoki is on the warning track as he hauls it in for a loud out number one. J.D. Martinez will take his first cuts of the ball game here. Martinez. First pitch on its way from Gallardo. On Gallardo with the good live fastball that's 0-1. Wow, he is spotting that fastball on a dime here early on. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. One out, nobody on. Here's Weeks at second base. And two quick outs here in the second. We'll check out that one-two pitch again in show motion. This pitch is up around the letters, and you'll see that back elbow drop down a bit and kind of drag through the zone. That's what causes him to pop it up. Jason Castro will stand in here looking to keep the inning alive with two gone now in the top of the second. Now here's the pitch. Trying to go the other way. This is looped out toward third. But an easy play over at third, and that'll be that. Astros go down one, two, three. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Aramis Ramirez will get his first shot at it here. Slice down the line at first. So this is foul for the first strike. And here's a ball swung on and missed. 0-2 oh now to Ramirez. inside as he might be trying to set him up here one and two maybe a good opportunity here to, to show him a change up give him a different look and two and two And 
this is swung on and missed that time by Ramirez. A strikeout victim, and there's one away. Well, after getting ahead here, 0-2, you know, he nibbles for a couple pitches, and then finally he just says, all right, I'm through with this. So he goes back to the fastball, just blows it right by him. Corey Hart will be the batter. Outfield shaded a bit to left center, the first pitch. Driven down the left field line, will it stay fair? Martinez is over to his right, and he puts this one away for out number two. Well, I thought this one could be trouble off the bat, but as you can see, he got a really good read on the ball out there and then takes a great route to the ball and makes the play. Jonathan Lucroy to get his first chance now. Trying to get something started with two away here in the bottom of the second. And he swings right over the top of this one. Nothing in one. Now here's the pitch. And he'll look at a fastball just off the black, and it's even at one. One and two now. Trying to get him fishing there, but he won't offer him dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Here it comes. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's working full now at three and two. Just did get a piece of that one, so he stays alive here. Bottom of the second here with no score. Fastball swung on and hit on the ground at third. Throw on to Pena at first, and the inning is over. Pretty painless half of the inning, all told. We played two full, and we are tied nothing nothing. Fernando Martinez is ready to go here as we begin the third. First pitch coming. Gallardo back to work as he jumps ahead of the leadoff man here. Nothing in one. And he misses with it, one and one. Think he held up in time, but that becomes moot as it's a cold strike two. And 
And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at 2-2. Two and two. Well, I'd be surprised if they go back to the curve again on 2-2. Two and two. He's had a couple of pretty good looks at it at the plate. 2-2 two, two pitch on the way. And this misses, so that'll fill the count at 3-2. and two. Well, that's an opportunity wasted on the mound there. Uh, hitter's got to be defensive on 2-2, two and two, but that was so far outside, he didn't even have to worry about chasing it. In the air to straightaway center field. One away here to begin the third. I well, thought for a second that this might make a dent in both the hit and the run column, but he didn't quite get all of it. It's probably the best swing, though, they've had so far. Matt Dominguez will get his first opportunity now. Matt Dominguez. Swing and a liner toward right center, and he'll have himself a base hit. Around first, digging for two now. And he is in at second base with a one-out double. Bud Norris will stand in, and you have to figure that he'll likely be swinging the bat now. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. You can hit the low fastball, but you're not going to hit that one up there. You can just forget about it. You've got to make him bring that thing down. Good hard slider there, but it runs away. It's a ball and a strike. That's what you have to do against a big sweeping slider like that. It starts in the zone, and it's probably going to finish out of the zone. So that's a good job just to lay off. One one on the way. Very high two and one. This guy is almost no threat up at the plate. I mean, you could get away with fastballs right down the middle if you wanted to. And he's fallen behind now, three and one. Boy, you have got to make this guy swing the bat here on this next pitch. This is not the guy you want to lose. And he misses here, ball four. And somehow he manages to walk his opposite number. Wow. Two on here with one man out. And striding in the speedy second baseman, Jose Altuve. On the ground down the first baseline. What a stop coming off the bag. And looks like one's all he'll get as he holds onto the baseball after the takeout slide. Really an excellent play here at first as we take another look. He doesn't have a whole lot of time to react, so it's a good job to spear it and then realize he can still get the lead runner at second. Jed Lowry will try it again, set down on strikes his first time. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1-0. and oh. Very tempting up there, but that's also a pitch that a lot of guys will pop up. So that's a nice job of laying off. And 
this one will be foul back in among the fans. And the pitch bounces off his glove, and that could be a run. Too high that time, and it's three and one. Yeah, and you know what? You've got a better matchup on deck here with two outs. So on three and one now, they may not take any chances with this guy. The 3-1 coming. Fastball is taken for a strike, and he runs it full 3-2. and two. And now, 3-2, two, two out. He'll be helped by the fact that that runner will get a head start out there. And he misses with it for ball four. So the bases will be loaded now with two away. That's two walks now here in this third inning. I mean, it seems like he's having a hard time picking up the catcher right now. Justin Maxwell will take his cuts now with a big opportunity to give his club the lead here. Here's the first offering. Grounded foul toward the coaching box at third. Oh, and this at bat is quickly moving from bad to worse. It's 0-2 now. Well, he's got a big pitch coming up here. That would be huge if he could get out of this with the game still even. Pause. Now the pitch. Now a swing and a miss. He struck him out. So he's able to tight rope it out of danger here, and the inning is over. Astros leave them loaded. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Carlos Gomez makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. In there, 0-1. Well, that one's at 94, so the velocity's good right now. Tries to drop one down here, but he misses. Strike two. Here's the pitch. Here's a hard hit ball back up the middle. And a high throw. It's over the head of Pena. And the key to this is that he's running hard out of the batter's box all the way. You know, with some guys, it's not always the case. But he is really busting it down the line, and he's going to get rewarded with the infield hit. Gene Segura digs in at the plate. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. A runner at first with no outs here. Lined into left field, and that's a base hit. Can't ask for a whole lot more to start the inning. 
Hey, back-to-back -back base hits haven't threatened to score our first run of the night. Giovanni Gallardo will stand in, and you can almost guarantee they'll be trying to move those runners here. Infield expecting bunt. Here's the first pitch. Just off the outside, and it's 1-0. And no surprise to see the pitcher squaring around as he gets this one down. Only plays to first, so the pitcher does his job as it's a successful sacrifice. I don't think you can ask for a whole lot more right here. You get back-to-back -back singles, then a good sacrifice, and just like that, they're set up for what could be a big inning. Norichka Aoki will dig in with a couple of guys in scoring position and a chance to take the lead here in the early going. A bit high there. A ball and no strike. From the stretch. 2-0 and oh now. Hey, it's danger any way you look at it right here. You've got a base open, but you've got an even better hitter waiting on deck. So I don't think I'd be working around this guy. I'd be forced to go right after him. Bottom of inning number three. Nothing, nothing our score. Take sign must have been on there because that's right down the middle. Strike one. Boy, he had a good pitch to hit, too. That was a slider always in the strike zone. That would have been a good one to go after. And he misses again. Ball three. Come set, now the pitch. And he misses with it, ball four, so that'll load the bases, and now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. So the bases are loaded here with one man gone, and digging in's the second baseman, Ricky Weeks. In there at the letters 0-1. Set. Now the pitch. Now he gets the ground ball to first. This might be two. The tag, and he is out at the plate. And so much for our first run of the ball game. So as we take another look, this was going to be a tough ball to get two on going home to first, so they'll be content with the force out at the plate. Bases are loaded here, two men gone, and that'll bring forth the great slugging left fielder Ryan Braun. Now here's a swing and a ball hit well out there toward right center. Maxwell retreats to the track and he'll put this one away. So a sigh of relief as the side is retired. Carlos Pena will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. And a check 
swing here, but he clearly went around on a pitch that would have been a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. And now a pitch on the way. Oh, and the curveball hung a bit as this is lined into left, a leadoff single. J.D. Martinez will try it again. He flew out his first time. And good movement on the slider there from Gallardo. It's strike one. Fastball just misses. It's one and one. Swing and a ball lifted in the air toward the line and right. And that's a fair ball. Oh, and the decision to try it will backfire there as he's gone on a great throw from right. Jason Castro will stand in. A line-out victim his first time. And the first pitch is fouled straight back off the catcher's mask. And no matter how strong that mask is, that can't feel all too good. Runners off for second. And he takes a good swing at that one as this is sent down the line in right, but ultimately into the crowd, a foul ball. And he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. And if you want to see a guy get blown away at the plate, this is just one finger down three times in a row. He was just overmatched there. Fernando Martinez will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. Donnie straightens him up with a fastball that time. It's ball one. Mm, he did not like that one bit. You know, it's one thing to work in with the hard stuff, but don't do it around the dome. I needed to lay off that pitch upstairs, but it's one and one. Yeah, and you know, this is a spot where you just have to make them bring the ball down. It's very difficult to do anything positive when it's up that high. And he looks at one in there, one and two. Not nothing fancy. Three fastballs so far in this at bat. He can go just about anywhere from here. And a fastball. Mm, tough take there, but it's even back at two and two.
He's ready now. The pitch. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. And now the benefit of you working the count to three two is that that runner gets a head start from first with two away. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. Oh, and you know he wanted that one. Now the inning will continue, and a guy moves up into scoring position here. Matt Dominguez will stand in here. He doubled his first time around. Fastball in there for a called strike. Ah, uh, good pitch right there. Right on the heels of a walk. He needed to get ahead of the next guy, and he did just that. Good lead off a second there. Now the pitch. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. Couldn't get him to chase the 0-2 fastball. It's one and two. Fastball swung on and missed, and that is out number three. Two left for the Astros. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. Aramis Ramirez will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. In there, strike one. Uh, I, I think if you gave him another chance, he'd be swinging at that one. That was a great pitch to hit. And a ball and a strike now to Aramis as that pitch misses. Fastball, not close, and he runs it to two balls and a strike. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Well, this is a good job to work the count from 0 and 1 to 3 and 1, and now he's really in the driver's seat to see a fastball. Well hit, but also well fouled into the seats and left. And that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. Hey, you know what? That's all right. He gave him a pretty good battle up there, and he never gave in to him. A walk you can work around. A home run. You can't. Corey Hart will stand in. A line-out victim his first time. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. And 
he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. He's set, now the pitch. And here's a slider, strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Well, here's a good look from the side angle. This is in show motion. You can see this cross is right over the knees. That's close, but it's the right call. Jonathan Lucroy will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Here's a first pitch slider that just tails out of the zone. It's ball one. Runner goes for second. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Lays off the slider that time. Two and one. In there, two and two. He's ready, now the pitch. And he misses this one inside and that'll run things full, three and two. Now the question, do you send the guy on three and two with one out? You figure you're going to get something around the plate. Lined into left center. And a leap it's short, but it's over his glove, and it could be extra bases. Around third and being waved on home. And the winning run is across to score. Well, you have the sense early on that this one was destined to go down to the wire. And sure enough, these guys are going to pull this one out here in walk-off fashion. And guys, the Brewers were given an excellent starting pitching performance from this man, Giovanni Gallardo. What a performance he turned in. He's our top's player of the game. Yeah, definitely no no debate as far as I'm concerned. He was really in complete control the whole way through. Only really got into trouble a, a few times and he winds up with a complete game shutout. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Eric Karros and Steve Lyons, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB 13 The Show. For more, find us online at theshownation.com. The Brewers win it one to nothing. Good night from Milwaukee.